today. Mario Maker comes to 3DS, but in the downsizing, he left some of his features back in Brooklyn. This is Checkpoint. Welcome to Checkpoint, part of your complete breakfast. A small part, in that you probably want to eat a normal breakfast as well. But you could be watching Checkpoint while you eat that breakfast. Which, in case, try not to get cereal on your keyboard. The delightful and sometimes rage-inducing, if you're playing a level designed by anybody in Japan, Mario Maker is coming to 3DS. Kinda. Nintendo is calling it Mario Maker, and you can certainly make a Mario, but you can't share a Mario like you can on the Wii U. You can only share levels via local wireless or street pass, and you can only play courses designed on the Wii U version if they show up in your recommended courses tab. There is no search. Mario Maker 3DS does come with 100 new levels designed by the folks at Nintendo, which is sweet, but like, that's not really the point of the game. Do, do you just want to make a new Mario game, Nintendo? You, you could do that. People would buy it. The Sims 4, an endless fountain of behavioral bugs and pure delight, has been patched to take out some of the more ludicrous unintentional activities. To touch on some of the highlights, Sims will now sit during a wedding ceremony instead of looming angrily. When your Sims make woohoo, other Sims who happen to be in the room won't just carry on with the accounts receivable. Maids will now clean a dirty coffee maker instead of just throwing it away. The gym rat trait will now properly prevent hygiene loss during yoga. Children will no longer warp when restocking mannequins. Large and small crystals will no longer inform you differently about their energized decor moodlet strengths depending on... Hang on, am I reading patch notes or did someone slip the script from that Fry and Lori sketch on linguistics in here? South Korean lawmakers have signed an amendment into law that is designed to prevent video game cheaters. With hacks such as aimbots running rampant in Korean PC banks, this law prohibits the manufacture and distribution of programs that are not allowed by the game's publisher or terms of service. If found guilty, criminals could face up to five years in jail and $43,000 in fines. While some in the Korean gaming scene are worried about this law being of... Uh, being abused by publishers and misapplied to non-cheating fan mods, generally people are happy that Overwatch will be playable again. Unless, of course, you main Symmetra, which I understand is literally unplayable right now. Anyway, but she's getting buffed soon. Noted auteur and all-around cool dude Hideo Kojima is working on a new game called Death Stranding. All we know right now is it looks weird AF, Norman Reedus, Guillermo del Toro, and Mads Mikkelsen are going to be in it, and that Kojima has hidden secrets within the game's two batshit teaser trailers. Apparently, if you play both trailers side by side, you'll notice that the baby being held by Norman Reedus in the first trailer teleports into the container being held by del Toro in the second trailer at the exact same time. Also, the broken baby doll that floats by in, the tra in trailer 2 has the same torso cuts as Norman Reedus. Also, also, the five soldiers from the second trailer show up at the same time as the five weird obelisks that show up in the sky in the first trailer. What I'm saying is that there's a lot to unpack and I'm excited for the next three years of baseless internet speculation and even more excited for the next three years of sexy black ichor Mads Mikkelsen Tumblr fan art. If it seems like Steam is almost overrun with new games, more and more games, forever piling on top of one another into an insurmountable cascade of early access refuse, careening down the streets of the internet like the Boston molasses flood, uh, then you are right. According to Steam Spy, two-fifths of all games on Steam were added in 2016. This is full games, not DLC, nor Steam's movie or application offerings. In 2013, 565 games were released on Steam. In 2014, that more than doubled to 1,772. 2,964 games last year, and this year saw a 40% increase with a whopping 4,240 games released, and some of those might even get out of alpha someday. It's amazing to think about how many polished, well-programmed original games there are these days. Yes, all 4,240 games, totally different and worthwhile of your time. Mm, and not garbage at all. No, first-person open-world survival crafting games made with store-bought assets and populated with wildly different looking zombies. None of those here. Steam was a mistake.
coming up. A new Fallout 4 mod has been released that totally fixes the game. Toilet paper is now hung with the roll facing forward, which is correct, as opposed to the roll facing backwards, which was wrong and what was probably leading to the horrific nuclear apocalypse in the first place. I'm actually super, super excited for the next three years of Mads Mikkelsen, Dark Icker, Tumblr fan art. I don't think we put a picture at the end, but he looks very like... 16-year-old uh, Kathleen would have been into that. Yeah. She would have been like, hook me up. I've never played a Kojima game before, I don't care. 